A sales funnel is used to generate more revenue for your business and it can be a complete waste of time or really profitable for your business so let's focus on the profitable bit. A sales funnel is where you're leading potential customers down a path and hopefully at the end of that path they become a customer. Now it's easy driving people into your sales funnel. You can just run ads all day long but will they be profitable? That's the key. We want to drive profitable people into the sales funnel. Now here's what a basic sales funnel looks like. Da -da. So you've got traffic coming in at the top, then you get leads as a result of that, and then hopefully you get sales. When you set up your sales funnel, no matter what the conversion rate is, there's always opportunities to improve it. You can double or even triple the conversion rate. Get response of 300,000 customers and provide email marketing software, marketing automation, landing page software, and webinar software. Now the reason I mention them is they recently released this feature called Auto Funnel. And Auto Funnel is a cool way of creating funnels. So instead of having loads of pieces of software, you just use Auto Funnel. Now what I want to do is, before we drive, dive into the tips, what I want to do is show you Auto Funnel. I think you're going to really like this feature. So let's quickly set up a funnel in Auto Funnel. So we select the Create Funnel option. I give this funnel a name, so this is for a photography course. And I select the option to sell a product. I have two options, a full sales funnel or a quick sales funnel. Quick sales funnel, if you only want to send people to the sales page, what I want to do is build email subscribers and build a sequence and also send people to a sales page. Now I've set up a store already and a store consists of many products. So in here, I'm going to select the product I set up for photography and then I'm going to select my payment processor. So how am I going to collect money? So it integrates with four different uh, payment processors. So I'm going to select Stripe and move to the next stage. Okay, so this is the funnel for the photography course. Now to complete this funnel, what I need to do is create up a sign up page where I build an opt in, create a series of emails for people that do opt in, then create a sales page and I can send people from the email uh, or the email subscribers directly to the sales page, add a confirmation page, and then we'll start seeing how much money we've earned. So a lot of this, the sign-up page, the sales page, confirmation pages are all templates to use. So we'll pick one as an example. So here's a sign-up page uh, we want to create and we just select this template. Uh, we give it a name, sign-up page, next stage. And then when we get into this page, then we can very easily edit it. So we can customize the image that's used. We can customize adding videos on, adding text on. So here's the image now. So we can double click on this and then we can delete the existing image. We can choose an image we've created already and then we can start adjusting that image so it fits correctly on the page. Okay. And then we can start customizing things. For example, I might want to delete this. I might want to move this over here. I might want to delete this and I might want to move the heading up. So you can see it's very, very easy to customize this. So I'd save this. I create a mobile version. I create a desktop version. Then I'd save it and then I'd create a thank you page at the end. And then if I want, I can create multiple variants. So I can create a copy of this and do some split testing. So let me save and exit here. So that would be your sign up page created. Then you continue on and you'd create your an email newsletter or a series of emails to send people. And then what you do is create a sales page again, selecting from a template. And the sales page, then you'd have a checkout page as well and an order confirmation page. And then you can start seeing how much money you can generate. So it's actually very, very easy to set up. It's highly customizable. And the best thing is being able to see all the different stages of the funnel. So here's an example of a filled out where you can see all the different stats for every single step of the funnel, which is absolutely brilliant. And this is guaranteed to help you generate more money building a funnel. I want to share some practical tips about optimizing your online sales funnel to drive more conversions. First thing, you need to be really clear about who you're targeting. So spend a good bit of time mapping this out. Think about the demographics, the age, gender of the people you're targeting, their psychographics, their value beliefs, their goals, what do they want to achieve, what are their daily challenges, and what's their online behavior, what social networks do they hang out on, who are trusted resources that they listen to online, and how can we actually help? So it's really important to spend the time up front on this. Think about qualifying your prospects. If you have a cold audience, which may be a group of people that have not even heard of you before, you may not want to send them directly to a sales page. And that's where you'd build an opt-in page where you'd capture an email address first, and then over time, send them to a sales page. Or you could build retargeting lists specific to the launch. So for example, 
you create a video, you present it on Facebook, and it's related to your product or service, but it doesn't actually promote it. And what you do is you automatically build an audience on Facebook of people that watch more than 50% of that video. So you know they're interested in this specific type of content. And then based on that, then you can run an ad which drives people directly to the sales page based on that audience. Or build a list of targeted email subscribers. So you may have hundreds or thousands of email subscribers, but figure out which ones may be interested in your product or service. Maybe tease them with uh, you know, an offer by signing up now before anybody else. When we actually open this up for sale, you'll get an early bird discount. So try and build that targeted list of email subscribers. Now it's really crucial to track your analytics and so many people don't do this. If you're using AutoFunnel, it's automatically done for you, which is the great thing about it. You wanna op- track things like, many people are opting in on the email page where you're building email subscribers. Many people visit the sales page and convert. Many people abandon the sales cart, so they're on the checkout page and decide to leave. These are crucial understanding these figures so then you can actually optimize and improve them. Split testing is really important. And again, all of funnel make this very easy. So what you can do is go, here's option A, automatically copy this, create option B, and then change things like the image. So quite often on landing pages, if you have a female image or a male image, the conversion rates will be substantially different. So you wanna check to see which is working better. Now, one thing for sure, when you start split testing, you will notice a difference in conversion rates. So you will end up with a solution which will have a higher conversion rate. So really important to do this testing of different options. Number five, change your offer. So think about the opt-in you provide you know, whatever that is, then change that to see how the conversion rate improves or maybe it declines. Change your pricing. You may be tempted to have really high pricing, but maybe slightly lower pricing will actually work and you'll get more sales. So it's worth testing this. And package up your product differently. So how you present the product will make a difference in terms of the sales you generate. Think about incentives to add for immediate action. For example, early bird discounts work really well. So you go, well, it's not the final price, there's an early bird price and there's a final price. If you sign up within a certain time, and that's where urgency comes in as well. So the urgency could be, well, it's available to a specific time or it's only available to 100 people. And adding additional bonuses really helps. So say, well, if you sign up within the next week, here's the specific bonus. People need an incentive to take action now. They really need that and these actually help. And last but not least, nurture your email subscribers. So when somebody does opt in, then send a series of emails that nurture them and then present some offers for your product or service. For example, provide educational content relevant to your offer. Share some case studies in a follow-up email showing how customers, existing customers, benefit from your product or service and link to your offer where relevant in those emails and maybe you run a webinar to your list running webinars is a great way of generating more sales so when you build that email list you could still run webinars to that list and generate more sales so there you go now you have all the practical tips you've no excuses not to go out and start building that funnel if you're a get response customer start using all the funnel immediately it'll definitely help you improve your conversion If you're not a get response customer, what are you waiting for? Why don't you sign up and get that funnel built? And don't forget to leave a comment below. You know we love our comments and give us a thumbs up. So thank you very much.